my name's Maura Angelo. Well, I'm um, an artist. A lot of people say I'm retired, but I'm not. And uh, we have a studio here, and I still work most days, which I think is important for most artists. I think, the, the, though I didn't think of it as, um, as art, I thought of it as fun. I had, was given plasticine at school, and it was my best subject. Plasticine, I excelled at, and if they'd had a certificate, I'd have got a certificate in plasticine. I used to make models of all shapes and sizes, and new, after the war, as new colours came out, I was able to add colours to my models, and, uh, and when white came out, white plasticine was absolutely fabulous. My father used to be very good at drawing. This this man back here, uh, he was he was very uh, he was an excellent uh, draftsman. And when he brought drawings home, he used to go to night school too. Although he was a school teacher eventually, he came home from night classes with these drawings. I thought, oh, they're so perfect. I've had all sorts of jobs. I. Um, I left school uh, and went to uh, study to be a teacher and um, majored in art there, uh, down in the Dunedin Teachers College, and um, then went to the um, <clears throat> art school here in Dunedin, which was the one connected to this, this building, this, um, the old technical college now, but it was an art school in its own right in those days. And so I was able to major in art in the daytime at the Teachers College and come up here and work at night. And that, that, was, that was my first job, more or less. Then I went overseas, taught overseas in London and Australia. But by this time I was studying again in, in, a, in London. I studied at the City Literary Institute in the history of art and also did night, um, classes in life study and, and life work. But in between times, to, to make sure that this was all paid for, I had to go out and work in the sharing sheds and the freezing works and the dairy factories. And, the, and uh, of course, I spent a fair time in the army as well. We were conscripted in those days. But of course, right through all my career, people have influenced me. Um, uh, I, I went to a, a art school in Islam when I was about 30. I went there and uh, had to change my tack quite a bit. And people like Rudy Gopaz, a Lithuanian artist that was teaching there at the time, Tom Taylor, who was a sculptor, and uh, Bill Sutton, who was another uh, a very uh, classical paint, painter. And there were people like Leo Benson also who really helped me a lot. They, they were great uh, supporters, if you like. When you were getting down to it and you felt your work wasn't going very far, to go and have a, a couple of gins with them and a chat, you know, it really was good. They, they sort of helped you along a lot. Yeah. It was interesting to see that Microsoft had one of my large paintings and they redid their whole office in the colours of the painting. Now that's the way it should be. Usually it's the other way around. You'll get someone that'll come in and say, that'll just match my wallpaper, you know. <laughs> and when you've gone to a lot of trouble and, uh, and it's like writing a piece of poetry, I suppose, when you're doing a painting. In the future, what's left of it, I, I, think, uh, I think I would like to, to use what energy I've got to, uh, to extend, not my techniques so much, but to extend my thinking, uh, uh, to see what wonderful, wonderful things are still around us, what I can do with colors, what I can do with, with paint, using, to make a statement that painting isn't dead yet. No, not quite might be having a, a little bit of a arthritis here and there, but it's not dead. <laughs>